Well, hello everyone. It's a pretty average day today, so I'm not able to get out and do much. So I thought I'd show you through uh, how to make a seaside garland. Uh, what you're going to need to do that is a uh, cordless drill with a small drill bit in there. Naturally some shells and bits and pieces. I'm not doing it too flash, just some of the shells that, you know, wash up on the beach around here. Uh, bits of driftwood, yada yada yada, and some fishing line. And uh, that's pretty much all you really need to get started. And pretty much what I do is go through and drill the the driftwood and the shells and then um, I think I'll uh, I'll go through that process now I'll show you how to do a couple and we'll um, pause it and come back when I've got them all done and then show you how to arrange it so bear with me so first of all with the uh, the bottom one I like to have like a, a, a pretty nice looking one on the bottom to feature it something like this here doesn't have to be that flash but it's there so we picked it up on the beach so I always find that it's easy to drill in the back part of the shell hold on tight so once you've got that done we start on the rest of them Just as you go through the last bit, you want to be you know, gentle with it. And all you're trying to do is create a little hole like that. It's perfect. Obviously, the, the timber's a hell of a lot quicker and a hell of a lot easier. Just find the center, drill the hole through. If they're, if they're you know, really brittle pieces of wood, throw them out. They won't, won't help you out. Yeah, just make a pile, go through, drill that. We'll return when we've got them all done. All right, well that's done. It took me about 10 minutes to, to get it all done. We've got the big pile all stacked up here. So the most, oh, I should, have, I should have actually said too, this is probably one of the handiest things, you know, drilling through so you don't wreck anything, drill through the timber using a lump of wood. Also the, um, with the shells, you know, you you will every now have a have one that'll bust out. I find that the smaller the drill hole, the um, the more success you have with uh, not breaking them out. So um, I usually use two drills, uh, a finer one for the um, shells, and uh, a little bit heavier for the uh, timber to make the hole easier to, to find as you go through. But uh, and with the fishing line, you know, anything around that. 60 pound um, fishing line's pretty good. This is a little bit light, but I've got a little bit extra left over that I don't use anymore. So uh, for this exercise, it is what it is. So just simply simply tie a, a knot down the bottom. Um, I also have fishy secrets. If you, you want to learn a few knots, I'll be do, going through them. This one's just a simple, simple uh, locking blood knot. Where you just feed it, feed it through and come back up through itself. It's, that goes down onto the end of the, the shell. Now, you know, there's a couple of different ways. This one's going to be pretty much where you just stack it on top of each other. But, you know, what I've found is that if you, well, conformity probably isn't my forte. But if you, uh, if you do conform with, with these and do like a run of three shell, three shell, three shell, three shell, they do look better. Obviously you can make it four or four pieces of timber to one shell, but I'll show you, you know, how, how I find them. And then it's just, just comes down to a little bit of, 
you know, using your imagination, which one do you want to start with? Okay, so you just, usually I start with a little bit of a small one, so it doesn't engulf the, the bottom shell, thread it through, feed it on. So as we said, doesn't matter, don't worry about, you know, too much about sizes. Obviously you don't want to just start all small and end up with all big ones at the top. Um, different shapes, you know, odd bids, you know, just use that. Okay, so then when it, so it's three there, and we grab the shell, and I, I didn't say, but I do both sides, the top and bottom. Um, I find that it's easier to start from the back of the shell, run through it, and then out the top. Here, that goes down there and it starts it starts to develop yeah back to the timber Yeah, so you know, a good thing to do when the weather's not that great. We've got a cyclone that's off the coast here at the moment and just day after day of strong winds and, you know, you're just hard to live in with those sort of conditions unfortunately when you live in the tropics but after wind and rain usually comes some nice sunny weather and gives everything a freshen up and a wash off and fills the water tanks And if you're lucky enough to get a lot of these little scallop shells, I really dig them. I think they, they look pretty cool. If you've got time, you know, stick around, watch a few more videos from my island home, Skyrimville. New ones on there all the time, thanks to the guys that I'm Seen at the boat ramp the other day that really liked the barra fishing video. It has been a great summer for, for catching barra over here, so I enjoyed being able to put, put it together and share with you. So as you can see, you know, they, they start to come along pretty quickly. You know, they're setting in the end, you just slide it all, all down. I think I'll probably do a couple more runs and, and that'll be it, ready to be hung up. You know, the, obviously the other ones you can do is if you don't have as much material, so to speak, as what, what we've got over here, well, you can just use uh, use a few few less and tie knots and and spread them out a bit so you don't have as 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 packed in as what what I do or consistent. Let's see if we can find something. 
different. This one looks a bit different for the top. Where the hole is, there it is. It's a garland. Try to finish it off. You'll need to put a loop in it. This is, this is a perfection loop, we call it from the fishing side of things. I'm doing my best to show you, it'll be pretty hard to see, but if you look it up, perfection loop. So you start off with an overhand knot in the shot. Then from there, you pretty much come over the top of that with the other piece. And it lays in, you can see this, this little section here. You lay what's called the tag end in there. And then from there, let's see if I can pull it forward for you. Yeah, you've got the two loops. You twist it away from your body. And that creates an X. In there then it comes now it's hard to see but it gets a little bit awkward this side you go in one side and bring it out the other and then from there you just pull it all together the good thing about the perfection loop is it ties dead center get your knife trim the little tag off And there's your garland. Hang that up, flowing in the breeze. Bob's your uncle. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the video.